What up, YouTubers? Nerdy Red 23 back with another video. How are y'all doing? Here to talk about another rap hip hop group, Wu Tang, releasing their debut, The 36 Chambers. It was released on November 9th, 1993. Happy 31 years to this classic, and I'm still listening to it. It was released through Loud Records and RCA Records. The recording sessions took place during the late 1992 to early 93 at Firehouse Studios in New York City. And the album was produced by the group's de facto leader, RZA. And its title originates from the martial arts films Enter the Dragon and the 36th Chamber of Shaolin. Man, this is just an amazing album. And you got hard hitters on this. You got three singles on this. You got... Cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money, dollar dollar bill, yo. And then of course protect your neck. And can it be all so simple? So this album is um the distinctive gritty sound of it uh, created a blueprint for hardcore hip hop during the 1990s, and it helped <clears throat> New York City hip hop to national prominence and. Its sound also became greatly influential in modern hip-hop production while the group members' explicit, humorous, and free associative lyrics have served as a template for many subsequent rap records serving as a landmark released in the era of hip-hop known as the East Coast Renaissance. Uh, its influence helped lead the way for other artists, I mean, for several other East Coast rappers, including Nas and Biggie, Mob Deep, and Jay-Z. Despite its raw underground sound, the album had surprising chart success, um, peaking at number 41 on the U.S. Billboard 200 chart, selling at 30,000 copies of its first week on sale. By 95, it was certified platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America, and in October of 2018, it was certified triple platinum initially receiving positive reviews from most music critics enter the Wu-Tang 36 Chambers has since been widely regarded as one of the most significant incredible albums of the 1990s as well as one of the greatest hip-hop albums of all time in the year 2020 the album was ranked at two, I mean, uh, 27th on Rolling Stone's updated list of the two I mean of the uh, 500 greatest albums of all time of the year 2022 two years ago the album was selected by the Library of Congress, Library of Congress for preservation in the National Recording in, I mean, uh, Registry, National Recording Registry for being culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. <clears throat> so, also the album, um, <clears throat> what you might call it. <clears throat> According to music journalist Ben Yu, uh, the minimalist means the production plays directly into the music street aesthetic because RZA didn't have the best you know, mixing or recording equipment. Uh, the album is uh, wrought with a dirty quality. The drums have more bass and are more hard-hitting than they are crisp and clean. The samples have an eerie, almost haunting type of echo in the vocals because each member... The uh, voice is already aggressive and gritty, perfectly uh, match the production. Although ODB is given co-production credit on the mystery of Chepsboxing, boxing, and Method Man is co-credit for Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to with critics admires you universally credit RZA with developing what a pitchfork pitchfork called the dusty yet digital production style that helped legitimize. The use of more diverse sample sources to the hardcore New York rap massive breaking away from James Brown bass beats embracing a style that turned the underdog theme into the menacing coda for a group of underground terrorists. And <clears throat> it ushered a new standard for hip hop at a time when hip hop music was dominated by the jazz influence styles of a tribe called Quest and the Afrocentric viewpoints of Public Enemy and the rising popularity of West Coast gangsta rap. The album's explicit. Mm, humorous and free associative you already know so the album features bring the ruggers bring them ruggers shame on them and clan in the front and lands in the back man it's that's a hard hit man woo 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 man just 
this whole album is just incredible, man. Gotta love this album. Can it all be? I mean, can it be all so simple? Protect your neck and admission. The mystery of chess boxing. And uh, Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to with. And of course, cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money, dollar dollar bill, y'all. Yo, oh, oh, oh. like all the way, met the man would say it. <laughs> Cream, get the money, dollar dollar bill, y'all. Yo, oh, oh, oh. And uh, tears and Wu Tang Seven Chamber Part Two. In conclusion, all classics, man. Just an incredible album. You can't even pick one song. This whole entire album is just hardcore, man, for East Coast rap. This will always be an East Coast rap classic. Shoot for New York. If you love Wu-Tang, if you love Method Man, Jizza, all their genius work that they put together for this album, you got to own this record in your collection. You got to own it. I want to hear that Wu-Tang joint. Don't we all? I know I do. Love the Wu-Tang. What's your favorite song off this classic LP right here? Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and comment. Follow your boy NerdyRed23 for more videos. Be glad to return back. God bless and stay safe, y'all. Keep bumping this album on your turntables. Because that's what I'm going to do. Peace, y'all.